Hey everyone, Faith Hiker here with Hike by Faith. Today we're going to have two tips on through hiking. Whether it be long distance or short distance, yes, we have two tips. They're probably the most important ones, and they're probably not going to be the ones that you think they are. So the first tip that we want to give you today for through hiking, as you know, maybe you don't, some of you may not know, but come April I'm going to be through hiking the Little Orange Highlands hiking trail. It's a 70 mile trail. I'm planning on doing that in five days. Now, what I'm doing to prepare for this is um, probably not what you're thinking. I mean, right away we think that to prepare for a through hike, whether it be longer or dis short distance, that we want to focus on our gear. We want to focus on what's going to be in our backpack. We want to look at all the gear reviews. We want to go out and start buying all the gear. Let's shove that to the side. We all know that's important. The two things I want to focus on today is mental and physical. <clears throat> so let's start with mental. One of the things you want to do is start preparing mentally for your hike, especially if you're going to do a solo hike. If you've never done one solo before, you're going to be in for a little bit of a treat mentally. You'll be out there on a the trail during the day, nighttime sets in, you're out there, it starts to get dark, certain things start to play tricks in your mind. You want to prepare yourself mentally for the whole trip. And that is first beginning by saying that, yes, I can do this hike. If you go in and start to think that I can't do this hike and you start to feel that discouragement coming in, you got to shove that aside, start thinking positive, and you got to say to yourself, I can do this hike. So I can't give an end-all to be-all strategy for preparing mentally. Bottom line, it comes down to you need to prepare mentally. The, the second one we want to talk about is physically. You want to make sure you're physically ready for this. It's winter time right now. A lot of us are not getting that active. We're not outside. We may not be hiking as much as we want to. So physical exercise leading up to through hike is important, as well as changing your diet if it's not the best. For example, I work all day in the office. I'm sitting down. I've changed some of my habits, and I've worked... Um, Part of my day is sitting down, other times of the day, I'm standing up. Uh, I've created a, a workstation where I can stand up, be on my feet more. So you want to prepare physically for your hike. Yes, don't get me wrong, it's cold outside, we don't want to go outside, but there are some simple exercises we can do in our homes, inside, that will help to prepare us physically. One thing you can do to get ready, ready physically, Load up your backpack. You don't have to put all your gear in it and pack it up a certain way. Just load it up, put some weight on it, and right there in your house, spend some time, spend about a half hour or so, even more if you want to push it and really kick out some exercise, and do some squats and lunges with your backpack. It's going to strengthen your back, your core, and your leg muscles. So some simple tips today, nothing intense. Two things you want to really focus on in preparing for a through hike or long distance or short through hike would be mentally and physically. That's your hiking tip for today for through hiking. We look forward to updating you here soon about my own personal through hike of the Laurel Highlands hiking trip.